Sir, saan ka man naputol? Wala. Tapos Game. naman kami, no? Game. Hey, sir. So, this is our... Ay, hindi, lang, sir. Um, saan ka man naputol, sir? Uh, right about this area. I think floor plan. When you were talking about oh, the floor sorry. plan, this last, yeah. uh, so last slide na to, actually, sir. Yung dinis-cross ko lang dito was about the uh, yung leasable space. So, ang nakuha namin area when compared to the lot size was uh, 60% of the, 65% of the space was leasable. Pero yung actual floor plan, hindi pa namin na-finalize uh, kasi gusto pa namin gawa ng more creative ideas yung circulation ng tao sa loob. Pero generally, that's the size of it. Okay, this is a good... Tapos na ba? Sorry. Mm, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. It's actually a good example of a, a, a fabric building. Of course, you cannot apply all the good ideas from the Formula One creative typology route na method. Uh, for yeah, um, so but uh, at least this one is considering the reality of the efficiency ratio, and uh, we can really imagine that this is going to work. But of course, the building is going to be a bit expensive. So I'm excited to see how this uh, develops further because right now, tama naman sila. They are much aware of themselves already. Um, that it's basically focusing more on the skin and but you know it's also a structural system uh, that's why I, I I also appreciate it so um, maybe my, my question is while I know that um, the the fabric uh, the lowering uh, of the fabric uh, how is it relevant to this typology if the, like like this one. So, why would a regular resident of this building uh, mind this architectural spectacle? What's the, what's the relevance of this? So, sir, because um the recycling facility of the textile is just right across the water, just in front of this development. So it's great that the shading device for uh, oh yeah the structure. Right. okay okay so, yeah. so basically yeah. are you are you say so what if let's say the products of that all of the modules like all of the base are already filled up with what do you mean sir like everything is occupied already with the recycle recycled fabric. So, ah, so is this for yeah so does the recycling stop no like, sir um yeah. this is just one of the products but then uh the products of the recycling facility is not exclusive to this uh product it, it's made for making clothes bags basically okay. uh clothing uh, well, this is just what, an extra what i love the development of this uh, I think you're only addressing like the one who controls the shading device is the resident at the topmost floor. So uh, I don't know. Um, while I know it's more graceful this way uh, when, when I'm looking at the section, uh, maybe address how it can be individually per floor um, uh, managed. Operable. Yeah, operable. Uh, maybe this will work if this is... Maybe this is the permutation. Like one... If let's say one building is one company. You know what I mean? It's like it's a, it's a call center. So it, it makes sense that it's a centralized control oper operation. But if it's going to be residential, then, then you have another permutation showing that um, probably it's Per floor, you know what I mean. Yes, sir. So uh, maybe this can work uh, as an office, but the moment you make this into a residential, I think the units will appreciate it. It's going to be individually operated. Mm. So are you suggesting, sir, that uh, there is um like three? Uh, plots per window 
or per floor residential because for residential yes because for residential with the centralized not nothing really centralized we're in the fabric control is limited to the third floor i don't know how it's going to work when you have a different resident below you mm, okay do you get it but it presents an opportunity for permutation mm. yes sir you get it? so uh, it's actually good as an idea that uh, it gave birth to another idea like in in nga lang, you know it's another section probably a different section then probably another perspective so when you look at the street you have a variety of profiles but still ha- having the same dna it's a beautiful outcome i think direction yes sir because mm. this one can work if it's if one company owns the building and the footprint of this building is not so big so uh it's like a you know, a typical call center, uh, a freestanding building of a call center company. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or even a school or even a, I don't know, even a, a Nike mega store. Mm-hmm. So, or a Uniqlo, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uniqlo, it can work you know, we just we just one with just one floor operating everything because they own the building. Yes, right. So maybe we can like make a separate uh, version for a yes, yes. commercial space. It's actually good. It's actually good. Uh, in a way, it gives birth to another another idea of permutation. I see. Get some answer. Okay. So. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited how this is going to develop. I also like the uh, the perspective, but I think it will develop further the moment you have a... You see, there'll be more variations, not a monoton- monotonous uh, type of thing anymore. So, uh, I evolved it, you know, parametric. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's beautiful. So this is what I was talking about, guys, when it comes to fabric building, how you can influence and how you can make permutations. Because if you, yeah, because if you have, a, yeah, this is, the fab, this is the fabric already, that idea, uh, the fabric, the recycling, recycle the cloth, and then the architecture accommodates that. Yeah, and then if uh, the permutation that we're talking about is now intelligently applied, uh, before kasi sinasabi ko, I'm happy na with, I'm already happy if you produce a permutation that's just an assumption. But this one has a basis already because of uh, the existing uh, existing prototype, that, which I think is going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be limiting. So the question is, how are we going to apply it? It's going to be a residential typology. Then the, the skeleton will definitely change. Probably you'll still have the same arcaded sidewalk, arcaded ground floor, but... Uh, the ones that accommodate the uh, the curtains, the recycled curtains, will be different. So that way, you create a very interesting um, street. Uh, when you go to Europe, but it's it's all classical buildings. It just they they, they have different, uh, but they look they look they still look different. Yes, sir. So in a way, you are doing the same thing in a modern way. All right. All right, sir. So yeah, thank you guys. Unless you have a, uh, an, you have other uh, questions. So, sir, since medyo na parang set na namin yung ano namin for yeah. special typology and fabric building, yeah, uh, ko continue na lang namin both or parang magfocus ba kami sa yes or production no. Pero update me with the permutation, but uh, you know, finish it already. Okay. All for right, the public building, I think I'm happy with this. I mean, uh, like, maybe you just provide an area we're in, do the individual buildings. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have to be like, if the city is known to be re- to, to recycle this fabric, uh, I was just thinking that probably there's a, a space in the building where it accommodates it. But I think 
if that is ready the mindset of the entire city uh basically the direction and you go straight mm. to the installation so uh yeah, yeah i think um for as long as you can provide more permutations i think it's in a way you are already finished just pr- do the production and then uh but if you can uh, do the permutation of the residential if you can do more that will be more impressive okay mm, all right sir all right thank you guys thank you sir okay tracy Is this Tracy? Hi, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bilis mo okay, I... okay. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, sir, this is the... I'm just going to have... Um... Oh, hold on. I'll just close the door. Hi, sir. Can you see the screen? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Um, this is just a quick recall of what happened two weeks ago. So uh, going back to the the site, it's definitely so- oh hold up sorry. Sorry, sir, family. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Ayun. So this is the what our study was last uh, two weeks ago. So the question of designing uh, accessibility and well, mostly the uh, the problem was how can we water the bamboo area? And um, there was a problem in terms of uh, water source when we came to um, calculating the amount of water with the, uh, the units that we designed previously it wouldn't, wouldn't be enough so we look we took uh, our previous sheets the what we had for our previous studies with the circulation and then um, followed this general program so right now in this week we created units iterations which was also based on our very first presentation which was the study of the octagon. And then we were able to permutate. And in a sense, because we were questioning, uh, Kevin and I, we were wondering, is there a way to make something organic yet, um, you know, kind of modular in a sense that it would be, a, it's easy to fabricate and it's easy to um, manipulate. So if you, as you can see, the first one, like the A01 or the, until A08, these are all large units. Um, little by little, we started detailing and thinking of the program of these large, larger units, which is the main circulation of these um, oct- octagonal uh, water filtering units. And then the others are kind of like pathways or um, areas wherein people could walk. Um, these are connectors, basically. So. After several iterations, I think we had around eight, we were able to um, optimize it with regards to the um, access, accessibility of the, of the circulation of what we did uh, two weeks ago in order to be, make it passable for the pedestrians and also for the water, since our priority is definitely trying to get water to the other side of the entire bamboo forest of our city and also making it useful for the public. So this is a quick um, section, perspective section cut to show like the interactions of how people could probably use it as, um, as people who will enjoy the bamboo park that is kind of like um, a mix of several typologies, like the questions of we, we questioned like how can we um, make it safe for people to pass through because um, as you can see this underneath is actually the highway so and and the other problem was that like in EDSA sobrang taas the uh, the steps so people not everyone can be would be able to use it 
And since it leads towards a bamboo forest or like the neck of like a um a connector to the bamboo for the main bamboo forest, it becomes a place of destination. So if you could see the process, it it kind of combines um two things. It uses it uses rainwater, still trying to optimize that, and also with the estero water that has to be filtered, at least that is usable for the bamboo forest. So yes, the roof is designed like with a twenty degree slope, in order to um be able to to get the water uh properly to catch it, and we use these um like a a series of well three meter or two meter spacings to make sure that there's enough overhead and um, space for the catchment and the, the the water reservoir so the bottom becomes also a uh, some sort of um experience uh, for someone who's contemplating who's within the bamboo forest and within the this uh site which is kind of still in development this is still quite conceptual at this stage but um we're still looking to add more activity within the area and if you notice um there if you this um with the with regards to the railings we also thought of the pwd so there's a top bottom railing to make sure that it's accessible to all and then um, this generally is the structural plan, the paths of how this is the estero water will be able to go through this bamboo forest and cro cross uh, the highway. And then this is the ground floor and the circulation, making sure everything is ramped and easily accessible by people, especially those who are crossing and then generally the roof plan and the pipeline, how the water will be able to circulate and be part of the experience. So kind of inspired by the Pompidou, wherein it's easy to manage the water. So that well, that's one of the reasons why we also elevated and made use of the structure. Because you know, um, my Nila, um, one of the problems is every time they have to service water, nasa um, lagi nasa road, so this is one way that we could somewhat optimize the space of this um, connector to the bamboo forest. And then um, this is just an exploded axonometric showing the placement of how the the pipes will be able to go throughout the entire structure. Although the colors, these are these are just showing the iterations of the units of how it came to be um, as shown from the previous um, initial iterations. So as you can see, it's only like three different unique units um, that is able to create this organic, somewhat organic um, fabric into the, into the site. And then this is the articulations of the pipe and how the space could possibly be experienced by the locals and tourists. Uh, a, a top shot view of the ramps and accessibility and uh, another uh, interior ex perspective to show like how you could somewhat experience the forest within the space. So yeah, so that's it. Okay. Um, I'm just worried about the span, like the span of the, mm -hmm. the balcony. So make sure. That, oh, sir. Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah, we made sure it's around three meters. So um, we we measured these okay. and made sure the the uh, the structural will be able to hold it. Sir. This is just color coded. No, it's not that. Yeah, color coded. No, no. Okay. This is like conceptual phase because our next plan is to. Detail it. So this is just the ano. So I am it for now. I joke lang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ayos, sir. Okay. This is a special building. Yes, sir. And then it kind of 
we're thinking about it how we could apply it to the the fabric building okay. although we still haven't explored it because we wanted to make sure that we are able to exp uh, finish this at least the finalize the conceptual and then be able to detail yeah go, since, go ahead yeah uh, it's, uh, since, going to, yeah it's uh i'm happy with the direction um this uh make sure that uh, you're able to uh, finish everything with the right details etc yes sir all right because um the, the only thing we're trying to work on that i'll uh, finalize because we i still have my studies for the the therapy um there's portions that we did uh that does follow our studies like where is that in this detail i wasn't able to call it out wait uh, before i forget i know oh, that yeah, it's a uh, three meter span uh, right mm -hmm. now it looks like it's just a slab i think it has mm -hmm. it has to be thicker have deep okay yes sir yes sir yeah so uh go ahead sorry uh, i had to interrupt you oh no sir but i'm gonna um, can i look at the uh, the plan of this uh this uh, project like that no which part this it is the entire area of the bamboo forest no sir this is uh, the concept, the, the problem kasi from before, we had a previous site na malaki siya. And then we tried calculating the water, kung pwede siya yung mga just rainwater, rely on rainwater. But uh, given our calculations, kulang talaga. And then we looked at the closest source of water, which we designed previously na may um, extension ng estero uh, towards the Bamboo Innovation Center because our or uh, there's there's this like small mini bamboo extension forest. So we saw an opportunity trying to connect the water reservoir to the entire um, the larger part of the bamboo forest. Okay. So these are no units could probably be used also on the other side of ever. But yeah, this is so where this we. This is like a it. like a specimen. Like it just yes, a, sir. okay. Because uh, anyway, you guys are very critical, Dinaman. So uh, I just for the sake of discussing it, uh, because if this were uh, uh, the only thing, like it's just a, like a, the, a special feature in the entire city, and I only have these, um, I was going to comment that um, you were talking about if the idea is talking about the bamboo forest as being with nature. And then you can see that there's an imbalance of man-made and 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 the, mm -hmm. the bamboo forest. So, uh, parang there's it seems like there's more man-made than the actual forest. Mm -hmm. So I, I want you guys to be very sensitive when it comes to yes, sir. the proportions. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the ideas are going to be contradicting. All right. Yes, so sir. Good that uh, you, I clarify. We clarify that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Rest assured, sir, the, the rest is in the other side lang. Okay. <laughs> Ito lang yung, ano, uh, kasi, yung water utility. I said that's the one with the architecture, you know? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So at least I want you to think that way all the time. Okay, be conscious. All right. All right, sige. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Jericho? Sir, come in. Ah, Mar, Mar say, sorry. So, Para sorry. tapos na. I wasn't able to see the chat pala, sorry. Joke lang. <laughs> Hello? Ma, then okay. Jericho. Okay. Wait lang, halapin ko, sir. Ah, hello, hello, you know. Hmm. So, yung ginawa namin for like last week and last week then, um, nag-ano na kami, sir, like utility and also special building. So, medyo minerge na namin siya. And also, parang if ever, parang like as a landmark na din siya as a whole. So like, ito yung area niya. Like harap siya ng Pasig River. Medyo malaki siya. Around like parang 25,000 square meter. Pero yeah, like magsaserve naman siya as a like parang ano, water utility treatment. That? Sir? How many hectares is that? 25,000? Basta... <laughs> ano yung go convert? Yeah, automatic alam nyo ha? Sige sir. Sige. Hanggang dun pa lang kayo. <laughs> so, eto yung medyo, hindi pa siya detailed, pero, ito na, with labels. So, What's the process behind it? 
Wait lang, chill lang sir. Okay, sige. Hmm. Wala, di ako galing siya so, sa chill. Ay, sorry eh. May joke lang. So, like, per pond, sir, may like different purpose siya. So, start ko na lang kung paano yung process ng flow ng water. So, from Pasig River, like, mag-go siya into like sludge water pond. So, basically, this is like yung parang first pond. So, lahat ng maluduming water, like yung may mga trash, mga dyan siya, like, masastay and ma malilinis and like physically na lilinisin siya dyan and then magkakaroon ng overflow sa may sedimentation pond which ano sir yung pond then is parang it will make yung mga debris from the water water to like settle in settle in that area then like magkuflow siya sa constructed wetlands which is basically parang nature's filtration like pond tapos from that sir like may mga pipes na like would go through dito papunta sa may special buildings namin and meron din kaming over parang overflow like oxidation lagoon so basically parang sa part na to is i-aerate na yung water before mag magpunta sa pond and sa other side naman is um maglalagay kami ng parang aquatic playground so parang people can you know play around with shallow waters so parang ano siya sir like ano tawag to like parang basta parang overflow dam air yeah, type siya na ganun then magpa-pass through again sa constructed wetland so may constructed wetland ulit kasi parang nagse-serve siya as a buffer zone then bago like magmapunta sa mga like yung pond which is like, may aquaculture so may parang basta <laughs> nakalimutan na yung term no? pero after ng constructed wetland magpa-pass through siya going sa my pond so it's either fish clams like yung from our fabric building na ginawa namin then sa my last pond going back to Pasig River so medyo dito sa may parang isometric na to medyo flat siya lahat pero half na to is parang like a subsurface area sir. So basically, di ba nga, like madalas bumabaha dito. So like yung half na to, like ayusin pa namin siya, like magkakaterrain pa. So yung half sir is like okay lang siya masubmerge sa like if ever tumaas yung Pasig River. So may half pa rin na mag-work. So ayun. So basically ito yung parang summarize like graph niya sir. So parang from, from like pond, like wastewater filtration then clean water again back sa pond. So parang yung medyo detailed niya is may syempre may ano kami like additional water source from like Pasig River and urban storm water na mag-go through sa may filtration. So like yung first step is sedimentation which is yung pond namin na filtration says ay sludge pond tapos yung sedimentation pond then after sa sedimentation pond mag-go to siya sa constructed wetland to parang malagyan niya ng nutrients yung water then basically parang mas like cleaner siya from like the previous kung saan siya nanggaling then also like yung mga sludge na nakuha from like that like part can be used as parang fertilizers agriculture or a biogas which you know pwede siyang gamitin like for cooking like gas so from that constructed wetlands balik doon like it can, yung water can be used for aquaculture which produces fresh produce tapos agriculture then 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 nag incorporate kami ng restaurant so for the like building naman like yung medyo ganito abi So, sir, tinry namin mag-explore at mag-create ng large-scale na rainwater catchment using the form of the roof. Uh, we started with a simple arc, creating a slope in the middle. Um, and then we tried to stretch uh, both sides of the roof uh, to enlarge the area. Um, so at first, we were okay with this kind of roofing. Pero our structure kasi is circular. 
So we wanted to flow the water. <clears throat> we wanted the flow of, of water to be uh, um, less inside. So we tried to stretch the tip of the roof outward um, to create a direct flow of rainwater. So dito no, like, nag parang sectional view. So from like, like area na to, meron kami yung parang, meron pa rin siyang parang filtration system sa loob. Medyo hindi na siya detailed. And ano, like etong mga parang bluish na to is like an aquarium, sir. Like as an hold, holding tank para sa mga like clams na, kasi di ba meron kami sa fabric building na ganun. So, in order to hatch, tarang, when produce more um, clams, kailangan siya ng ano, parang controlled environment. So, ayaw naman namin na puro tank lang. We wanted to show also the clams sa like public. So, we, yun nga, like parang extend like the, the aquarium going down. So, parang like a ceiling design din siya. And also, they can see like what's inside the aquarium. So, next. Oh, parang ito yung medyo like detailed like how the aquarium will work. So, parang may mga piping sa like flooring which is connected dun sa may aquarium. So, pag nag-flow siya is meron parang sump dito. So, parang automatic na na magsa-cycle siya going here or yun, na accessible pa rin, like sa floor. Yun. Like, yun pa lang, sir. Hello? Ayan ba si sir? Uh, okay, just like the rest, I, I want you to solve the structural issue. Uh, it's ah, okay. for that naman, sir. Like, ano, no, like, like this one, when I'm looking at this, it's just ah, all glass. Uh -huh. Like, I have a lot of questions about how this is going to stand on its own. Mm, you get sorry, it? sir. It's wanting to make it work as a party, as a as an mm. idea, as an innovation, but you know, how is this going to float on air? How is it going to float in space? And then when I'm looking mm. at the section, while I love the form, my big question is, is this just uh, an idea or a, a fast idea or is something that is already developed? It, it seems that it's not developed yet. So you need, you need to think about how it's going to be built and constructed. Mm -hmm. So you really need to detail to detail it. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, so I, you are at this level in that is where you should, the, the, the consideration on the structural uh, dimensions are already considered. It should be automatic. Yes, sir. Okay, but the rest, I like the idea, especially the filtra filtration story. Uh, if you can have, you know, different um, programs around it, but I think it's too fleeting to say that uh, one area can be a source of fertilizer for uh, for algae something. You know, it's just too, I don't know if you have a computation showing that it can actually supply or provide oh, supply. So, so uh, we. Let's let's not claim that kind of uh, um, vision if it's not justified. You need to substantiate it with numbers, etc. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the idea of the different pools to have different qualities, like what kind of programs can you introduce uh, with the different yes, sir. pools? Okay, so uh, pretty happy with this. Okay, yeah, you have a support for the fabric. Medyo, <laughs> nahihirap pa kami gawin yung model. <laughs> ah, sige. Pero, kakayanin naman. Okay, sige. Medyo, figure out namin. Sige. Okay, thank, thank you, Abby and uh, Mac. Thank you, sir. Oh, sige. It's Jericho and, and Francis. Is that correct? Tama. Pero, sinadya ata dapat na ako na. Ah, sorry. Sorry. I wasn't... Nag-dim sila first. Okay, go ahead. Hi, sir. So, uh, since we're already like on our finishing stages for the mosque, um, while we're modeling, we're just 
uh, tra- trying to complete it. Uh, but we came across some other ideas that we're trying to um, uh, finalize. So um, there's this one area where um, we plan to have like um, an open seating. Since we have food banks in the bottom, we plan to have like an open seating dining area um, on the terraced platforms um, on top. So with that, uh, we're just creating different um, iterations on how this might look like to integrate uh, the different um, plants that we'll be adding, uh, supplementary plants that we'll be adding for the products that would be sold in the uh, food bank um, while maintaining the um, hydroponic system uh, that circulates throughout the structure. So um, with that, uh, this is a sketch since we're still iterating to see which would work, but the idea is that the water would um, sort of create the form of how these seating um, arrangements will be made. Um, but other than that, to sort of make the users more immersed in the experience throughout the structure, uh, we also decided to create more activities since we realized that um, using rice as a product, uh, as a plant, would also create a lot of agri-wastes. Uh, one of which would be rice straw. And um, with that, uh, the users could um, sit along um, the open areas and also uh, weave these products, like such as the picture that's on the sheet. Um, so they could also um, create their own um, souvenirs and other products um, that can be woven. And uh, from that, um, you could see in the model that um, the water would still be circulating around the structure, such as how the water would still flow downwards to the, the fish pond. Um, yeah, so that's just the update for this model. And then, so, for our fabric building, um, we decided to um, create different components uh, or stick with certain components that we could um, use in order to create different permutations for the shop house that's easily um, replicable in a sense. So these are what we have so far. We're planning more, but these were um, are more finalized ones. So um, as you said last week, it would be um, sort of terraced um, roof uh, shingles that would act as like a terrace plant cultivation pods. Another one would be the, um, uh, like a conveyor belt system for the food that would circulate um, within the shop house. That's water-based meaning um, water would transport these items um, to the customers. Another one would be um, the same algae tiles um, or tile plant motif tile pattern that we're planning also to add in the mosque. Um, but uh, probably differentiate the, the tile patterns for variety and um, more a, for like a more eccentric community, but uh, the idea is the same. And or since um, our goals for the shop house is also to collect um, rainwater, so this would be very useful in the airwell system and the walls and the windows. And lastly, we have um, a laundry system, which would also act as a water channel, which we will be explaining further in our other sheets. Okay. Um, so this is an axono, an isometric of um, the current 
our current iteration for the shop houses. So for the exterior form, we're still not yet finalized with this um, idea. But then currently, what we did was we had them um, back to back against each other so that there, um, it would form an esquinita um, as a sort of passageway um, in the middle of the two shop houses while the front um, are along the streets. Um, so you can see here also uh, how we applied the uh, planter system wherein um, it would allow for the rainwater to flow from uh, towards the central air well, um, which will be used for the water conveyor belt um, food transport system. Um, what else? So we also tried to apply um, the similar uh, the similar style that we did with the mosque, wherein we still applied the arches and um, sort of curvy linear um, design to the entirety of the structure. Mm. There. So for for this uh, sheet, um, we wanted to sort of create a laundry line system based on the traditional laundry pulley systems hung across shop houses. So um, we wanted to get uh, use this system as a basis, but then adapt it for water collection. So, um, from the plants, uh, plant part of the water collected from the um that we used from the plants, um will be used. Will also be used for a water, uh, for further water collection, um along, which will flow along the back walls, uh, of the structure. I think it yeah here. So um if you look. Is my mouse seen, sir? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So if you look here in this area, um, one of our possible ideas with this is was to further apply the algae wall, um, similar to what we were doing with the ablution area in the mosque. So that would allow us to um, use this system here, which is the um, laundry system as sort of like pipes for water collection that will further be, uh, no, um, that will be applied on this area. Mm. I think that's it so far, sir. Okay, so uh, for the main building, like I said, just uh, develop, uh, try to finish it. And for the fabric building, uh, actually reminds me of a project of Wotrongya um, when she utilized, I don't know if he or she, but uh, he utilized the, the rooftop uh, garden. But uh, if you can develop it further, you know, it, it, uh, it's something that I'm very interested to see. So, uh, but I can see the consistency from your master plan, the terracing part, and how you are creating an irrigation system concept. Uh, it's actually uh, being echoed even in this in the fabric idea. Yes, sir. Uh, for the rooftop, we're still trying to finalize and further conceptualize for it. But then, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think you saw my comments on on Julian and Lance's work, and that's basically to give an idea what we expect. But uh, this is not so far from it. They get, but I think they produce something that is very clear in terms of uh, in terms of a DNA of uh, what the buildings in the city could be. So uh, in a in a way, the terracing thing can be also dictative and and uh, and an idea 
that can be a DNA of uh, all the buildings. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Um, none so far, sir. So yeah, see you guys next week, and then uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Jericho, Machi, and uh. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm just waiting for Francis. Oh, okay. Wait long. We might get interrupted because I'm expecting something and maybe just about five minutes. Okay, sir. All right. Um, so um this week, sir, based on young feedback two weeks ago, we focused on the structural for the complex of the um apartment buildings. As Jericho said, because um and yung parang naging main concern um two weeks ago so we also researched about the structural plan of habitat 67 and medyo nahirapan kami since we're aiming to have this concept of um modularity and expandability um to other types of residential areas aside from this, which is yung apartment complex. So areas like public housing, which is yung it discuss the Jericho later. And gusto namin siya maging um, modular and expandable kasi um, yun nga, um, it would be better sana if um, we have this concept na pwede, um, pwede siyang ma-apply sa ibang bagay. So mas efficient yung parang um, yung ginagawa namin for the residential. In the next slide. And um in this sheet, sir, um this is basically showing the yung yung maraming lines, yung parang structural and the framing. This is ba basically showing the bare structural of a uh, ano, uh, yung right side ng isang apartment complex. Since we have um five complexes and ipapakita ko siya later. And um Yung basically yung five complexes na yun is optimized based on concern um um based on or concerning vistas permeability and the ambience of the area and so for this complex which is um this is complex number one the lowest of the parang in terms of height compared to the other four and um we thought na this complex could house mostly um yung mga or be dedicated to the elderly or the PWD as it is um near a commercial space on a nearby road and with no open kind of shop. Ito siya sir yung complex number one. So malapit siya dito sa road and uh, malapit din siya dito sa commercial establishment. So ito yung isip namin na ideal place for um the PWDs. And um, dito rin namin parang um, sinet yung pinakamababa since we all we were also concerned with the vistas. And one vista that we had is this one, which is um, basically ito yung five knock complexer. And um, we plan to expand this one, which is complex number three, para, para mas magamit namin ng, ano, um, yung, yung space. Parang di siya masayang kasi we were also concerned with the uh, yung saleability ratio niya, yung 30-70. And this one is uh, one of the vistas from complex number four. So kita dito yung Manila City Hall from the highest point of the complex number four in yung G G GSIS building. And um, going back to the... Ay, ito pala sir yung parang rendered na structural framing so yung isang guys, side guys, yung, can can we yung, just pause for a while i need the uh, oh, okay, uh, just the repair guy lang siya okay sir. okay sir uh, so to continue sir um recall lang namin what we planned for the expansion spaces uh spaces for the apartment complex and we also thought na yung the idea of creating um, expansion space, um, spaces for the 
residential units for the apartment complex. Um, para maganda rin siya i-apply doon for um, yung um, idea namin for the public housing since it would be modular then. Pero for in the context of a public housing, parang um, it would be better if... if um, okay, sir. Um, so... Um, yun nga, sir, yung parang idea namin for the expansion spaces, parang maganda siya i-apply dun sa ano, um, yung concept namin for the public housing since modular din siya. Pero in the context of, uh, in the, parang for the public housing, mas maganda sana siya if focus siya on, um, focus more on their livelihood. So, for example, a sari-sari store or um, a bigger kitchen or a small eatery. Um, etc. And so going back to the model, um, we wanted to parang create this um, permeable apartment complex because um, we considered na condos or even apartment blocks today are designed to maximize space um, for profit, which is a good thing naman. But we wanted to create a different approach towards designing these buildings and turning them into permeable structures that the public um, can walk through. Since it's the most, parang um, yun sa pinaka, pinaka optimal. And um, if we take a look at how parang residential blocks and cities function, we can observe that um, the public could only basically walk around a residential building and not through. And so in our proposed concept for the apartment complexes beside the uh, Araceros Forest Park, we decided, we decided to parang renew the idea of what a residential complex should be like and turn it into a space where um, accessibility and permeability through these, um, through these um, spaces is not a concern. So. That's it for me, sir. See Jericho naman next. Alright. Uh, mm. sir. Is it visible? Yeah, it's seen. Okay. So um, just a clarification, sir, before I start. Um, we uh, it may, even though it might seem that my process are kind of working on like different projects. Uh, because like that's what we're trying to do. Um, we're still both working on a commercial. I, like, we're both working on a like a residential typology, but I'm I'm more focused on on socialized housing, and then see Francis more on socialized apartments. So, um, we didn't really want to create just one single residential type of typology because it might be different. Like it's really unlikely to place an apartment in some Muslim area because you like you have a lot of institutions, a lot of children and parang malaki din yung yung community so in a sense we wanted it to be more open and more communicative so um where we're both headed in the direction that um aside from making communicative communicative residential um spaces we wanted to like maximize that space that's why we were going for like forms that look, um include expansion spaces or using the roofs or like attaching a lot of attaching a lot of like those roofs or those expanded places to each other so in the way they create like terrace for people to move around and through that parang it makes a it makes a sense that you don't really have to in a way enjoy yourself or provide leisure to yourself by going far but uh, by staying nearby your homes it's more safe it's more uh, recreational and you get to communicate with other okay. residents so in a way it still creates its own residential community so um, basically for you as a social housing um we took into research that the parang yung standard number of people within a filipino household was around 4.4 so then we took a range of like three different houses with different amounts of estimated um people living in them so for the red one it was kind of two to three people and then for the blue one was around four to five and then the yellow one was like around six to seven or more so um aside from the space and the parameters that we provided we 
made like we included colors for both the roof and like the window so that it's very much identifiable especially for the kids and the elderly community because um usually at the young age and old age it's very difficult to understand things by word it becomes more difficult to process them so that way through colors it's identifiable so example if you're like a lost kid and in a way you can't find your house or your uh-huh. lost direction uh-huh. a color in a way will symbolize that oh this must be my house or it must be nearby where i live so same thing for the elderly community so um especially those with like um mental or psychological illnesses it's easier for them to recognize like areas if there's some sort of visual aid for them so given that on um, similar to Francis idea we were focusing on like the structural method on how we can create those um paramojos in order for them to stack on, upon each other so these were actually the initial parameters that we have that was it's basically this one but the more structural so um these were just renders of like the, the totality of kind of like the form we did so in this example you can actually see that you basically have a window or a residential window which is more permeable in a sense then you have like you have like open spaces then um we included like some sort of playground element like a like a monkey bar or like a hurdle type of rope although um i do realize that it's not entirely safe we're still working on how to finalize the the look of these like um railings but the idea is for one person to get from one roof to another. You don't really have to like enter the house or go through like big stairs, but you can actually climb over it. So that way it's more accessible and it's more visible between other people. So like creating roofs, even though if they're in different heights, um, it makes it more communicative because people get to talk to each other even if they're doing different activities in different areas they can still visualize they can basically still see each other and that way it especially like i think i mentioned this last week especially for elderly people um it actually helps them to go out if they get to talk or they get to communicate with more people and that makes them in a way remember them more or it um, motivates them more to go out so um Although this is actually not the final window yet, sir, we were planning on making like the window a door also. So in a way, it can be um, like a pathway. Although I um, we actually took into account like what if like my nagiging sketchy because there underground tunnels or what if people can break in and stuff like that. But um, one advantage of placing like uh, windows nearby to each other is that people can be more uh in a way aware when someone's on the other side um unlike if you compare it to like apartments now one sided lang um, usually all the windows are on one side and there are none on the other so that makes it parang visually parang in a way um not everyone has like a 360 awareness so placing windows or like basically um transparent um panels allows people to see each other even though if they're in residential areas. So um, even though it may be kind of, um, how do you say this? Parang an invasion of privacy. Um, it also like allows security since you basically, since we actually wanted people to be more communicative, we had to remove like more barriers. So in order, if they had their own thing going on, they can still see other people on like if they're okay or check up on them. And if ever they want more privacy, um, like they can place like other furnitures that can block the view in a way. So um, one example of like in, our, in terms of structural, as I said, yung framing kanin, that's one type of structural, but similar to what we presented last week, what if we create like some sort of um, parang wall climbing or in a way a monkey bar that also acts as a a structural element so in a way for example here people can climb um over these railings to get on a different type of level and similar to this first picture it allows them to go to a different kind of level and it can in a way be more interactive but um 
Oh, no, it's a prime. Oh, yeah, it's this one plus. Sorry, I missed it. So basically, this is like an initial major iteration that we made. Um, currently, we're still working on how like the railings can be more diverse, can be more um, unique in a way that promotes different activities aside from climbing and um, thousand climbing and crawling. So, um, yeah, basically the idea is to create a visually, or a visually guiding type of um, residential community. So that way it would somehow direct people to go here or climb up there. So, it, and aside from being a visual aid for the different age groups that we had as stakeholders, it also becomes somewhat accessible. So for example, we, there's a, like a ramp here, although hindi ata nakuha lahat. But yeah, it's very, it's like in a way more easier for people like PWDs to get from one area to another. And especially for the yellow ones, since the yellow ones are more um, directed to large families. So you'd probably um, be able to expect like extended families, which are pretty common in the in the Filipino culture, like you'd probably live with your grandparents or um, your parents' older siblings or something like that. So in a way, um, it makes it easier. That's why the yellow ones are in a way placed on a higher level. So um, the parang paglabas mo mismo nila, um, they can circulate around. Um, yeah, basically they can circulate around. It's easier for them to um go around. So um. Aside from that, uh, we were wondering, despite, let's say that this would be a single iteration, how would all of these, in a way, connect like to the other different iterations that would be placed since this is our fabric building? So, um, wait, oh, naman, sir, yung right now. Is it, uh, sir, is it visible? Yes, yes. Um, we were thinking that each iteration would have like the base, like this a similar base. So we were thinking it would, could be the square, this one, the highlighted yellow one. So we were thinking like aside from being a pathway, what if what if it would also, in at the same time, be like the utility type of connection? So maybe like since all the modules are attached to this initial base, kind of like a junction box. So if all of these modules were attached to this base, technically like all the utilities like maybe plumbing, HVAC, um, electrical can be attached. And we were thinking what if we can create like another type of um another type of iteration and in a way connect it somehow like this. So that way it's kind of like rotating throughout. So in a way, you can say like if we create like the whole iterations of or like the multiple iterations of this type of housing, they'd have in a way a connected type of um, utility. So in a way, it's kind of like a one-way system utility, but then the community or like the residential is more diverse. So um, I guess that's what we have for this week. For next week, me and Francis were focusing on how we can create like the similar dimensions. Actually, I'm kind of basically finalizing it now. Actually, it's you cannot say you have to finalize it because I have a lot of problems with the design. Because from day one that you presented this to me, while you are addressing the the rec, uh, recognizing the unit, which one's uh, is your unit, but you're not really addressing how this is going to work. Um, because you know it's easy to have you know, random boxes stuck together. I made a sculpture similar to this, etc. But what you need to show me is the efficiency of this. Like anybody can think of a uh, random boxes stuck together, but you're not showing me in floor plans how this is going to be realistic. Do you get it, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, that's the answer. So, you know, um, when I'm looking at the habitat by Tama ba by Safdi? I forgot the name already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Safdi. It's, si more, Safdi. it's more realistic when it comes to efficiency. 
And then I'm looking at it, there's a lot of open spaces. So what exactly is it that you are offering that is new? Because if you're just going to say the ramp, etc., and then uh, the barbed wire, the, the wires, etc. Et but how does how does it work? Like you're going to ask the developer to create all these follies, these architectural follies, for what reason? Because they, he wants to please the residents. So uh, that that's the problem with this. He, he doesn't have the balance of reality and then the innovation that you're talking about. This like I was I was comment commending the work of the others talking about the proportions of saleability and et cetera, like it's, it's, it, it's recognizable, it's decipherable, uh, but this one, it seems that it wasn't really considered. Do you know, the, you know where, my, where, my, where I'm coming from? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It doesn't have the, that maturity yet. So I, if I, you know, before you can say you will finish it, I'd rather that you guys solve this issue first. Okay, sir. Okay, I think it's it's more important to have uh to to have a more resolved design solution than have a finished product that is that is a big question mark. Do you get it? So how do you balance yes, those grid uh wireframe and then this one and then, and then etc. And then can we go to the the populated um 3D of the city? Okay, sir. Wait long. Okay. This one too. No, the, yeah, that one, that one. So, is this how you imagine the the plots, are, uh, the the volumes are going to be distributed? Uh, yes, sir. Parang ito na yung basic iterations namin, pero we plan on expanding this one, which is complex number three, since medyo maluwag pa yung space dito okay uh, this is one of the things that i'm really not into especially uh my, my problem with having a circular plan because you know that it's just you know it's just uh, something that we just put on the on the the land on the lot so it's the same thing with this one it's like it's something that you just place on the lot and i can imagine it in other places do you know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a trophy. Yes, you sir. Put, you put in a, on, a, on a shelf. It doesn't really adjust to the site and it doesn't really create a very intimate city because you have a lot of open spaces. You have to cross that far to get to your neighbors. It doesn't feel intimate at all. Do you get it? So, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But on the master plan was disregarded and you know there's, there's no intimacy. Like I'll be exposed to the sun. This will be a very hot city, like a very hot complex. So uh, yeah, so I am wondering where the intimate city ideas are. Do you get it? And yes, the, yes. And then the more <clears throat> that efficiency ratio is questionable with this proposal. Do you get it? Yes, sir. I think you need to solve that first. Okay. Okay, sir. I see you. Again. Thank you, Matka, and uh, thank and you, sir. Max. Okay. Um, Adrius, birthday boy. Sir, di pa November fifteen pa po. Happy birthday. Advance na. Uh, TJ, so TJ, next, yata, next. computer is not uh, working properly, so it will be just Adrius going to present. Es, si kaya may choko lang po kami this week. Sige lang. Importante yung finals. Okay. So, so we made some revisions. This time, we, we, we will start with the process. First, we, we considered the space of the... Ano, because of the critic last week that there is not much green space utilized. Therefore, I decided to start with a rectangular form then evolve, evolve it to a pathway for the space in the center. 
which will turn into a body of water. It's the so, so so this will be the process of the building. So, so it it is gonna begin with concierge, and it's split into two areas, which is mostly the same. I decided that the comfort and the shower room would be placed in the opposite end. So it will be travel in an equal rate. And I considered adding two camps for, for the swimming pool. For the purification, it will it's basically the party that we have created. So to get started, this is the floor plan of the of the building that we, in the we are making the process. For the swimming pool, it, it, it's it's placed in the center. However, it's still, it's still initial stage, and we will still develop it. That includes the party from the second floor. Which we were also planning to develop first. So far, this this, this ito, ground floor muna before we evolve if evolve it into an additional floor that, that includes more party. So, so let's start with the columns distance. The distance of the columns is 5.6 meters from each other. And, and these four camps basically serve as um placement for the for the for the stuff that people used to swim. And for the fill wait, so this is the design of the comfort and shower room. So it will still evolve. And this this the party for the water filtration system. They, they basically act as, as a container that, that is placed beside the walls on two opposite sides. They, they are built up on the wall, which has cilantro plants, which is used to distribute and convert the water into purified water. Effectively, Having a water water placement here, which is the main purpose, which is, which is our main priority, allowing clean water to be produced. So, so this is how how the water filtration looks like. Going this time in the indoors, this will be the water collection. And there's also a roof between this party, roof placed in this area, which will be used to distribute eventually to the wall, wall portion of the party. So this is a complete form of the party. Once the rain water falls into one of these holes, they, they, they can get distributed in either of these three areas, either the middle part or, or the two parts, which will slide down in, into this portion, effect, which creates some immersion. So this is the perspective view of, of the initial first floor building so, so this that this is how the party is integrated and there are also these are the set stairs used to access the second floor which is still under development tj 
do you have something to add or no more? Um, wala mo na right now. Wala mo na, all right, all right. Sige. Uh, Idrius, are you done? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Idrius, TJ, I think it's very important to me that you present me floor plans because right now, I think we discussed last time, I remember vividly that we focus more on the efficiency ratio and I'm not seeing that. All I see is the party. You know, if I'm a developer, I'm not going to build this. What will I do with that? I need to see where I'm going to earn. I need to see where the rooms are. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Sir, top off. Sir, top I don't understand that. Yeah, what's that? What's in it? Sir, ground floor plan. Ground so floor plan. What, what, what will happen there? I'm not going to earn from there. It's just a ground floor. Yes, we're still developing on the second floor, Pop. Yeah, but it's been two weeks, Adrius. I want to see floor plans. Floor plans of uh, rentable spaces where I'm going to earn, whether it's residential or commercial. These are all just waste of money and waste of space. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I, you know, prioritize that, renta that leasable areas. Okay. Yes, sir. Is this a fabric building or a special building? Fabric. Oh, see? Then you need to show me the, efficient, the efficiency ratio of the building. If you saw the presentation of Lance and Julian, you can really see that most of it are rentable space. Do you remember? Yes. So I wanted to focus on how your financier will earn here i have no i have no i can't see any space that uh, will make the developer earn it's all open space you're basically asking him to just build empty space that is not usable for money making purposes do you get it yes sir okay so i want you to be in that mentality first and then if you have other ideas then we add on to it Okay, that's very important because when you do the actual practice, it's more of that than, than uh, a lot of uh, innovation uh, that, uh, that we are focusing on. Um, right now, I want, I want to see that you know how to plan. The two of you know, know how to plan, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, see you next week, huh? Floor plans. Of, and I also want to see the special building because we're nearing the end already, okay? The special, yes, building, the, the special building can be uh, a landmark. There, probably the efficiency ratio is not so important. You can experiment there. Okay? Yes. Okay, sige. Remember that you are working on two buildings. All right, sige. Uh, are, you, are, are you guys okay? Do you have any questions? I have a question. Hmm. Hello. Um, for since malapit na din finals, mm -hmm. what are the deliverables that are more prepared? For, uh, just the same. Just, uh, sure. just the same. I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna okay. Uh, post it. Thank right. sir. Thank you. Sir Jerry, sir Jerry is actually asking if uh, if it's um if the quality is good for his website, etc. Like that. So, uh, yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank, you, thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Do you have any questions? Other questions? I guess that's it. Okay. So, uh, thank you, guys, for the time. And, uh,